When I first started making videos, I made this super common mistake that a lot of beginning video creators make when it comes to selecting my camera settings and editing my video. See if you can spot the mistake. Here's a hint. It has to do with frame rates and slow motion. There is a right way and a wrong way to do this. And in this video, I'll show you both. So no matter what kind of camera you're using, even if it's something as basic as a smartphone, if you go into the camera settings, you might notice a bunch of numbers like 24, 30, 60, and 120. If you're in another country, they might be slightly different, like 25 and 29, but the principles here are still the same. But these are frame rates, which is the frequency at which consecutive images are captured or displayed. Now, if you choose a frame rate like 120 or 240, then you're shooting in slow motion video. But if you choose something like 24, 30, or 60, then this is normal speed video. When it comes to choosing your frame rates, there's really no right or wrong answer here. It just depends on your personal preference and what you want to achieve in your video. But traditionally, 30 frames per second was used to film live broadcasts like sports or news. And 24 frames per second is used to film movies or TV shows. So it's seen as a more cinematic frame rate. And 60 frames per second is really reserved for high paced action. Or if you want to slow down that footage in post-production, which I'll explain later on in this video in the slow-mo section. But one thing to note is that the higher the frame rate, the bigger the file on your memory card. So it'll take more processing power on your computer and editing as well. So just keep that in mind. Now, after you edit your video, you can then import it into the editing software of your choice. For me, that's DaVinci Resolve. But here's where things get interesting. And here's where I started to make my mistakes. So in the beginning, I shot all of my video clips in 24 frames per second because that's seen as cinematic and that was what was recommended by most of the YouTubers out there. But then I wanted to do slow motion in some of those videos in post-production and the results looked horrible. No matter what frame rate you shoot in, if you want to slow that footage down in post-production, there is a limit or an ideal number so that you don't get that jumpy and jittery effect that you're seeing. If you shoot in 30 frames per second, you want to slow it down by a maximum of 20%. And if you shoot in 60 frames per second, it's a maximum of 40%. This way, your resulting slow-mo video is smooth and not jumpy or jittery. So nowadays, I rarely shoot in 24 frames per second. I almost always shoot in 30 frames per second or sometimes 60 frames per second if it's a high speed action scene. But I always edit my video in 24 frames per second. So how do I use that slow motion footage? Well, number one, for cinematic effects. I feel like whenever you shoot something in slow motion, it just looks more cinematic by nature. And related to that, sometimes I want to do a speed ramp, which is when the footage starts out a little slow, then it speeds up and it goes back to being slow. Again, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this, and it does have to do with selecting the right frame rates. The final way I use my slow motion footage is to stretch out my B-roll. So sometimes I'm shooting some B-roll to patch into my main video, and I want that B-roll to extend out a certain length but it's not quite long enough. In these cases, I can do a slight slow motion effect to stretch out that B-roll. So that's my short and sweet video about frame rates and slow motion. This again is a lesson that I learned pretty early on in my video making uh, career. And it's something that I use every single day now whenever I'm editing my videos. So I hope that it's something that can help you out and you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. I'll see you in the next video.